Yeah, you're fine. It's, it's a 196 when I pulled up to turn left, and now it's 192. So that's fine. It's, it's just a thermostat five. doing its job. 195. You're gonna light your mud flap on fire, by the way. Oh, awesome. It's like that big fireballs. I got them on camera. <laughs> I can see it in the daytime. That's how awesome it is. Brad? Uh, working on this butthole. You really love your truck, don't you? Yep. That's why you're selling it as soon as it's running? Yeah. Fair enough. It's a butthole. <laughs> but yeah, we found this in an estate sale up in Idaho. This guy died. And we think he was just using it around uh, kind of his farm. So my little brother picked it up, buffed the paint, redid a bunch of the trim and black paint, put his Porsche seats in and then sold it to me and took it That was nice of him. Yep. So I decided to do a KA swap in a weekend and two years later, uh, it's almost ready to rock and roll. Sweet! So we did a KA24, you know, single cam. We've had problems with a cooling system. We're running Speedwino. Yep. Put the cheap aftermarket in. We plugged in the stock uh, ECU and it didn't work. So this guy here just decided to chop, chop on all the wires. That doesn't and sound like me. I do love our uh, method of a single coil. Yep. We've got a for single a single LS coil to LS drive a distributor coil, thing. to run the car. Yep. I love it. And the only thing pretty in the engine bay so far is the uh, the valve cover. Oh yeah, you did coat that. I did. It's kind of a cream with uh, just shaved, bare blasted aluminum with clear coat over the whole thing. So nice. I've got to get the intake done to match and the other little things. So we're completely out of... Uh, yeah, the rear wheels like are leaking, so it's time to fill them back up. Okay. Well, let's get to work. So at this point, I decided to pull off the wheels and go and check the rear cylinders. Brad helped out by cleaning out some of the cobwebs and other things that were there, and I just couldn't help myself. So Brad went off to get some more DOT3 fluid and just got back. How about that? Anyway, we're going to fill it all up. So it wasn't really the uh, cylinders that were leaking. Oh, that's kind of a cool spider crawling by my nose. Yeah. Um, yeah. Interesting fluoride fauna on this vehicle. Look. Okay, so we got a bad brake line. So you can see it kind of draining over there. Sorry, a little more. Right there. Drip, drip, drip. I'm trying to leak on my forehead. That's half the fun. That's how you can clean your pores out. It does amazing things for your skin. So, time to replace that. So one of the things we're working on is putting on a ULN 2003. So we've got that here. I just, um, focus. Okay. I just pulled off those four teeth. I'll go ahead and lift off the one other tooth. 
and we'll get that installed and soldered in right in there, kind of in that back section right there. So we'll get that put in and get it put in there and get it ready to go. Woohoo! So I went ahead and put in the the chip right back there. Got that in there. The only thing I'm waiting on is to connect the power wire right there. And she's done. And Brad just barely got back with the brake line. And so we're good. All right, Brad, you gonna go for first start? Sounds rough. Which one is it? Well, one ain't running. That one's running. Okay, so one is not running. Sorry. Oh, it's all good. So at this point, I decided to go through and basically hard jumper each injector and basically flush it out. This thing hadn't ran in years. All the injectors were a little bit clogged. We had kind of old gas in it as well. But after I went there and gave direct voltage, which is something I normally don't recommend, but I did it <clears throat> in kind of a proper way for improperly doing it. And uh, got them all cleaned out and got it running on four cylinders. Well, here comes fun. Brad's driving it for the first time. I'm trying to get auto-tune going, but I've lost Bluetooth connection. And he might lose that slide. We're just coming up the road to go get fresh, good gas. It's kind of fun seeing this thing drive. He just peeled out. And I lost signal. Here, I'll focus over on him. Man, I just got the worst luck of people driving this way all of a sudden. Okay. Here's Brad. And something's wrong. Great. Okay, let's go find out what's going on. What? Oh, yeah. It just shot up. What did you got on my computer? Uh, it disconnected. Oh, that's true. Sorry, I got the part. I shouldn't have pulled out. Is the fan still on? Yeah. No, you got an air bubble. Fucking hell. This is what happens every time I drive it. Look, Phil. Fill your radiator. Jeez. I can touch it. Here, let me get. Um, Where are we getting a drip? Where's the drip coming from? Down here. That's overflow. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Same. It's a cracked line. You can see where the line is cracked right there. Is that hot? I think we just, we probably gotta get it on an angle and just bleed that like crazy. We probably have an air bubble in there somewhere. I don't think I even have a screwdriver. Uh, let's just get you to the gas station, we can get back. You gonna blow up? Nope. I think you just hit a little uh, spot. Just get in the gas station, we'll get you some fresh gas. Here, really quick, let me put the computer in there. All right, is that connected now? Go ahead and start it up. Yeah, we're 190. 
That's why I'd start it. It needs a little tuning. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that thing sputting away. Man, it's such a nice looking truck though. Such tiny and junky in the back. Much junk in the back. All right, I'm gonna go talk with him. I'm just gonna park in the shade right here, kind of. There we go. All right, pause for gas, taking a look here. Reaching up down low. I think we're a little too rich up there. Okay. It's actually rich enough up there. I'll probably lean it out. Yeah, I bet when you were up there at those higher numbers, you were freaking pig rich. Did it feel around like five grand? Uh, maybe, I wasn't looking. Okay. Yeah, I'm betting that's what it was. That's what you buy this thing? That's all it really needs, right? Yeah, that's all it needs. Brad and I just filled up. I know he went this way. He's already over there at the light. Holy crap, he's fast. beautiful I got full flames out of that I hope you guys caught that that was awesome yeah, I've got some tuning to do it's just blowing out the cobwebs let's be honest I gotta talk to him about that. I hope you guys love that one. What's that? Yeah, I think it's fine. What's it reading on there? Middle. Yeah, you're fine. It's, it's a 196 when I pulled up to turn left, and now it's 192. So that's why. It's just a thermostat doing its job. 196.5. You're gonna light your mud flap on fire, by the way. Oh, awesome. It's like that big fireballs. I got them on camera. <laughs> I can see it in the daytime. That's how awesome it is. Let me feel at uh... Dude, radiator feels great. I mean, a big thick aluminum radiator is only going to help. We finally got a fan. And now we can set it up in software. I think you make a drivable truck now. Yeah. You want to drive it a little bit more and tune it, or do you want to worry about the seat? Um, it's nice to just seat rails. Alright, I'll see you back there. I get AC, he doesn't. Something happened. I just died suddenly while I was accelerating, and now I won't start. Am I leaking anything underneath? Uh, you're dragging wire. Oh, the cable? Yeah, flood clear. Flood. I did. Let go of flood clear. Okay, stop. 
We lost yeah, power. It says we lost sync. So you've got key on and it's no longer running, right? Right. Turn key all the way off. Turn it on. We lost the fuse. Yep. Um, so we just got some fuse or just push it back? Hold on. You got power. Start it. All right. Let go. Just give up. Uh. Can you just push it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one second. Let me turn off my van. Turn the steering wheel. <laughs> oh, well, you want to just get in and I'll push. What the hell? I know. Weird. Weird okay. Die. Get my workout in. Well, good thing that happened so f near by your house. <laughs> such a ripper, though. Here, do you want me to look at fuses really quick? Um, let's just get it close. We okay. can get behind that silver car. Or. Okay, let's do it. So was it doing anything goofy that you saw before that? No. I was just accelerating like I did before. It starts breaking up about 3,500. Drove, it didn't overheat, win! Jump much? I'm giving her some go, man. Good enough? It's right there by the seat. So, I think we're good. Should we bend? The brake pedal is. Wait, what? No, the, the clutch is kind of aggressive, the one that was supplied with the engine. Because the guy was like a super race car driver, like every other Nissan guy. Gotcha. Oh, we still have that wire dripping. Uh oh, hanging down. Trying to avoid okay, we this speed bump. the wire off that anyway. I don't know if that's the reverse light or the other one. Temp is fine. I never turned on the fan. Okay. Yeah. It's good. It's running fine. Uh, anything you want me to do? Um, we can turn off fuel on. Fuel cut. Okay. All right, you now have fuel cut. I know. Fine. Yeah, that's just 
guy tuning. We're at the driving. How's the uh, temp looks good on the dash? Yeah, it's like in the middle. Maybe if we keep the speed up too, it's still only gonna help temp. Feel. They're okay. I feel like Dotson brakes. Okay, temperature's at 190. You're doing good there. I lost connection for some reason. So the great news, the comp was really cool. Uh, no problems there, no no issues. We didn't get any hassle at all. Um, we were right by his house. We just pulled in and we were fine. So that was always a good feeling. Truck drove great. Uh, we're now working on that. A uh, couple things to keep in mind, Brad does have some BMW projects that we're working on. So coming up soon, uh, we'll finish off his differential swap from an open diff to an LSD on the car as well as get it up and running on speed we know here shortly. So he just pulled off a manual swap on it and uh, it's looking really great. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with that coming in soon. Hopefully you've enjoyed the, the banter between Brad and I. We are you know, brother-in-laws, but man, we treat each other just like family, of course, and that always makes it fun. Anyway, stay tuned.